Hello everyone. I'm here to um, talk about Sarah of Shubby Sarah's Shubby Sheet Creations, who's having a inspiration challenge, and it ends the first of March. Um, I, I'm new to Sarah's channel, and um, I. Uh, She's a she's a friend of Debbie's, and Sarah purchased some of my D stash lace. Only I didn't make the connection um, for for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at her channel before I realised um, that <coughs> she was the same person that had had some of my D stash lace. And the the challenge is about what inspires you and what inspires me is not one particular thing but loads of things and um, one of them is um, what I have in my stash um, I, I'm very much um, I don't I mean I have ideas but what I mean is those ideas never come into fruition unless I've got the materials to produce them and um, and they very much um, are interpreted by what I have in my stash so that's one of the things that inspires me um, another thing that inspires me is other crafters they're so wonderful on YouTube um, I've never met so many uh, creative people and they are just wonderful and they often inspire me to oh I could do that but you do it in your own way in your with your own twist on it um, and that's inspiration um, what else oh, now I've gone and forgotten now on the front of the camera well <laughs> let me show you what I've made um, one of the things that Sarah talked about was um, that she was training to be a ballet dancer um, but she had to give it up and one of the artists that she loved was Degas now that triggered something in my head when she mentioned Degas because I studied art um, at college and um, I absolutely love art and the impressionists are one of my favourite era and I do actually have a Degas, it's a print, I have a Degas print in my bedroom and um, and greatly, lo just love, 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 love and um, so Sarah inspired me to create this which I'm going to show you now and actually it's the first time I have created this um, it's a cushion there we are and it has one of Degas famous paintings on the cover um, on the cover on the front <laughs> yeah so thank you Sarah thank you for inspiring me um, I just had to I just had to have one of his images and I selected a few but this is the one I went for in the end now I made this cushion by um, picking out two pieces of silk uh, one was plain and one was embroidered I put the plain silk on the front and uh, covered it in some lace and then I went round, obviously I sewed it together, stuffed it with um, filling and um, sewed it up. And then I went round with uh, layers of ruffles and we've got the uh, polka dot one and then we've got one here that's double layered and then there's one on the back and I'll show you the back. Um, so the image went 
Oh, I actually stitched the image on before I, uh, that was the first thing I did on the uh, silk and lace. And, um, and then we got the pearls all around the edge and then I put these appliques around the picture and they were ones that had these flowers already on them and then I put some pink pearls I wanted to not to over make it pink <laughs> um, but just have a hint of pink that was my idea I wanted it to be sort of that's why around the uh, picture you've got the pearls but you've got another trim that's got um, some pink gingham ribbon there's also another trim underneath that which is uh, yeah if you can see that and um, so I and then the finally I put this flower in the corner um, with the pearl and then I made some dangles well I say I made some dangles I wanted to have dangles um, just going down the sides so we've got um, we've got a trim, we've got some lace, we've got some sari silk, we've got some pink ribbon, and more lace. Yeah. So so that's it. That's my cushion. Thank you, Sarah. I hope you like it. Um, right. Embroidered lace on the back. Uh, I've kept it very simple. It's got this eyelet lace all the way round which has been tea dyed and I did wonder about putting something around the edge but um, I didn't I just put my label on in the end and just left it plain so there you go that's my entry Sarah for your challenge and I should be putting it in the post very soon and uh, I hope you like it I've not made a cushion or decorated it before. Oh, that's not true. Actually, years ago, I did do some uh, wedding ring cushions. Um, yeah, I did enjoy that. Right, okay, well, that's me done. Don't forget, pop over to Sarah's channel. Um, it's not too late. If, you get, if you're quick and in the UK, you could enter. Um, and... Um, I'll see you later and have another video. <laughs> I'll put the link to Sarah's channel in the description box. Bye for now.